How's it going, goons? It has been a few months, but it is once again update day for the college football revamped mod as version 18 has finally been released. Now, there are no specific conferences being worked on at this point in time since the revamp team has completed every conference. So what they're doing is they're going through and just updating uniform assets uh, either for teams that have a bunch of alternates that they weren't able to put in before or teams that put in new alternates since they've been revamped. And from reading what the contributors have said on their official Discord, it sounds like there's some tweaks that they were able to do in the game files that allowed them to create more uniform combinations than was initially expected. So the 43 teams that had updated uniform assets in this version 18 are Air Force, App State, Arizona State, Arkansas, Baylor, Boise State, Boston College, BYU, Clemson, Duke, Florida State, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Houston, Iowa State, Kansas State, Kent State, Louisville, Memphis, Miami, Florida, Minnesota, Navy, NC State, Nebraska, North Carolina, Northwestern, Oklahoma State, Pitt, San Jose State, SMU, Stanford, Syracuse, TCU, Tennessee, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Toledo, Tulane, UNLV, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, and West Virginia. Oh man, I gotta catch my breath after that. So now that we have the full list of all of these teams, what we can do is go through and just take a look at all of their uniforms. At this point with some teams, it's become so complicated to know what's new and what's not. We're just gonna go through every uniform for every team. Uh, you will have to pause the video to, to take a really good look at some of them because with 43 teams, we are going to be going through a ridiculous amount of uniform combinations in this episode. So starting alphabetically with Air Force, We've got the home, the away, the C-17s, the red tails, the B-52s. I think these are new and oh boy, do I like that a lot. Uh, you got the AC-130 spooky, which to be fair, any AC-130 is pretty spooky. The F-35s and then you got all of the alternate combinations. So Air Force has gotten an upgrade in the form of, gosh, about a half a million different uniform combinations. Appalachian State is next on the list. The Mountaineers already had some really cool uniforms. I thought I love the yellow, or maybe it's considered gold. Uh, let me know, App State fans. But uh, the gold and black and white, I think, is a beautiful combination. I think a lot of teams do it well. App State is definitely up there for the best. Uh, so they have a bunch of alternates now. And again, some of these uh, uniform changes might not be massive. Uh, but they could just be updating things to something that they had in this uh, most recent year. You can see the gold Yosef. I assume that's how you say it on these helmets. And uh, just, uh, again, lots of different alternates. All these teams, you're going to have, you know, an entire season or two's worth of alternates to choose from. Arizona State and the Sun Devils are up next. Again, a lot of uniform combinations. We already know they have some fun helmets at Arizona State, but uh, the Valley Heat... That's oh, such a beautiful look. Kind of the state flag inspired uh, shoulder pads and gloves with the great Sparky Devil logo on the helmet. You got the throwbacks with the, the fun gloves and shoulders. Uh, the sustainable look. Very fun. Pat Tillman. The Brotherhood. The Desert Hammer. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Uh, the Desert Hammer Alt, the Desert Ice, Desert Ice Alt, the Desert Chrome, 2021 Pat Tillman uniforms, and then you get into their alternates. So you can see just, we're three teams in, and the amount of work that has been put into this uh, update, this version 18 by the CFB revamp team is absolutely phenomenal. We're still just going through alternates. The, uh, the Sun Devils, you could play for three seasons and still not get a duplicate, especially if you go and make your own whack uniforms and just start throwing stuff together. We only have to move down one more team to find Arkansas and the Razorbacks. Again, a very traditional kind of uniform, but being updated, well, I'm sure that we're going to have quite a few alternates here. The beautiful Veterans Day. I, I always think it's fun. Patriotic helmets. Uh, you know, in this case, it's the Razorback logo with the red white and blue you got the white out look the anthracite which is just such a i don't know such a common look i guess in, in college football these days i prefer the alternate you've got the jfb dallas i'm gonna be honest i don't know what that's about 
<laughs> and then uh, the throwbacks with the kind of alternate shade of red, uh, the red gradient, the white gradient, 2019 home, 2019 away, 2018 home and away, the 2018 alternates, and then we just get into even more alternates. And so now, Arkansas, a team that you wouldn't necessarily think about uh, as a team with a ridiculous, a ridiculous amount of uniform combinations, has a ridiculous amount. Baylor is next on our list alphabetically, and the Bears already have a you know an interesting set, a lot of fun uniforms. So just modernizing that and adding all those alternates into CFB revamped again, phenomenal work. Uh, they don't have a lot of like named uniforms. They do have a lot of like name or a lot of alternate options, but it's not like you know Arizona State where it's uh, desert this, desert desert that, Pat Tillman this, service all that jazz. But we even have some of the old green logo stuff from 2018, uh, kind of that color from you know back in the day, yesteryear. And man, they are reaching deep into the pockets here of the the Baylor Bears look. So again, just I, I keep scrolling. I I'm trying to find a way to continue to talk about these uniforms, and there's just so many of them. Boise State is up next. The Broncos, all the blue. I like the uniform. I love that simple shoulder strip they have. It's different than other teams. I think they do it well. The all orange looking good. They've got the all black, the 2021 homecoming with the fun helmet with the outline of Idaho and uh, the Bronco on the side of it, the 2019 homecoming. And then again, getting into the mix of alternates. Uh, a lot of fun looks. Uh, again, just kind of like App State with their color combinations. I think Boise State's color combination uh, is pretty fire. Boston College is up next. And again, this is a team that I don't typically think of as uh, being one to push the envelope with uniforms. But I do know they have some interesting looks so uh, easily home and away you've got some alternates and then you've got the red bandana they actually don't have a lot of options because again like i said not one to push the envelope but uh just getting every little update you know making things look as up to date as possible is really nice and i do really like those uh red red bandana uniforms uh just like enough of a touch of unique while not straying far from what makes their uniforms theirs We'll hop on over to Utah as we've got BYU and the Cougars. Uh, you know, they have all their royal blue looks, and I think they have some non-royal blue looks. They've got the black, the throwback, the alternates with the navy. I really like this navy color on BYU. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, and then again, getting into the number of alternates. Anytime this gets up to, you know, that anything above five, compared to the base game, I think it's phenomenal. BYU doesn't necessarily have a crazy amount, but again, a more traditional school as we move on to Clemson. Tigers, we know they have some fun ones. You guys already know, I think, my opinion on the purple. Just very unique. Uh, it's kind of crazy looking, but they can kind of pull it off, I guess. If there's a team that's going to run orange and purple, they do it as well as any. They do have their playoff uh, homes. And their playoff aways, which I always love those. But again, Clemson, more of a team that they're just kind of updating the small minutia of their uniforms. It's time for Duke. The Blue Devils. What do they have for us today in this update? Home, away, white, black, the Hellraiser. Fun name, fun look, different enough. 1942 Rose Bowl throwbacks. Uh, look at the helmet on that. Very fun. Definitely very much a throwback in this instance. Uh, and then you get into the numbered alternates. And again, Duke, uh, you know, just enough. I love all the different changes that they have with the helmets. Gives a lot of opportunities. And, uh, you know, eight alternates with the named alternates gets to be a pretty high number. For Florida State and the Seminoles, we have, uh, again, beautiful updates and some fun alternates. Again, not a team with a lot of named stuff, but again, a decently high amount of alternates. And as always, you can kind of mix and match and create some kind of wonky ones. Um, but again, nothing too crazy being updated for Florida State, just uh, more modernizing the look. We've got Georgia. Oh man, that 99 defense is something else. And they have, uh, again, just modernized uh, a classic team's look. But Georgia does have some interesting alternates. Uh, they don't have a lot being put 
into the mod here, but I see them all over the uh, the Discord, uh, you know, all over the place. But uh, I think because they're not official or they haven't been game worn, they haven't quite made it into revamped yet. But again, updating it to the 2022 season, looking good for the national champions. We can just head a short ways in state to Georgia Tech and the Yellow Jackets have their updates. The home, the away, the white, the navy. I think that's oh, such a beautiful look. I mean, it does kind of just look like navy's uniforms. They've got the gold, the black watch, the cape day. That's pretty solid. That's a good take on kind of an anthracite look. Uh, and then into our numbered alternates with the small changes here and there. Uh, mixing through the helmets and... Uh, just, again, updating it for Georgia Tech, and I think they did a pretty solid job with that. It's on to Houston. Were they officially announced as uh, Big 12 members? I don't remember what the deal is with that. But, uh, gosh, here's some looks. Uh, again, Houston, they, for as simple as a lot of their uniforms are, they do pretty well. Again, there's another team with an anthracite. It's all right. I think red goes with that anthracite gray pretty well. Uh, the alternates, I think a fun uh, logo that they have with the cougar on the side of the helmet there. Uh, and then you've got home and away throwbacks with the retro logo on the helmet. And then into our numbered alternates. Uh, a lot of helmet options. Uh, teams with a lot of helmet options are up there for me. I, I like having, uh, you know, multiple lids to choose from. Iowa State and the Cyclones are up next. And... This is, uh, I don't know why, this this reminds me of like Smallville for some reason. I, I feel like the, the high school team in that TV show was red and yellow. <laughs> I don't know how many people have ever even watched Smallville. It's, it's kind of a very mediocre TV show from like when I was in middle school. Uh, anyways, <laughs> they got some fun ones. I like the black look. I like their alternates, but I just can't help but see... Uh, a young Clark Kent just absolutely trucking people as we get up into the the high numbers. Can we get double digit alternates? That's a beautiful sight to see. Lots of options for Iowa State fans. Kansas State is here. Unfortunately, no updates for Kansas. Although they did make the intro video beating Texas. Imagine, imagine that losing to Kansas. Uh, anyways, Kansas State and the Wildcats have their updated looks. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm a fan. I'm a sucker for a script, uh, you know, nickname on the helmet. So that's a pretty good look for me. Alternate three and then into the home. So again, nothing too crazy, but enough to change things up. Kent State is our last of the K's as the golden flashes are kind of in a front to the eyes with the highlighter yellow. I guess it's not quite highlighter yellow. It's more of like a dandelion or a daffodil yellow <laughs> uh, or maybe there's another name for it but they do have a lot of crazy helmets the golden flashes do uh and they also do a good job of uh sticking with the gray this kind of looks like a west virginia gray uniform to me but i guess we'll see that and then you've got this out of left field powder blue that looks phenomenal kind of a throwbacky look almost with the uh lightning bolt on the shoulder and the side of the helmet and the flash fast on the side of the pant legs that's a good one uh and then into the uh, named alternates and because they have that crazy powder blue one you can do some really uh just bizarre alternate looks for these guys so that's gonna get their numbers pretty high up in there so you've got the named ones and let's see alternate 13 14 15 oh my goodness Oh my goodness, Kent State fans are rejoicing. This is absurd. 24, 25, uh, what? There's, there's 26 alternates for Kent State. Oh man, that is some Mac goodness. That is not something that I expected to see, but I gotta say, I do love to see it. Louisville is up next. That's gonna be a hard act to follow for the Cardinals. They've got their home and away. Uh, I like this red look. I, I don't know why. I actually, I just like all of them, but I love the, uh, the kind of drop shadowed Louisville, uh, on the, on the jersey and the numbers that they have. Uh, the all black is a good look. The all white's pretty solid. They've got Muhammad Ali, uh, tribute uniforms that look pretty solid and pretty old school. They've got the hard knocks ones with the, uh, fancy looking shoulders. You got the 1950s throwbacks the showtime that's a that's a great look 
if you're going with that anthracite their military appreciation logos which are i'm gonna go ahead and say a little bit extra and then you get into their numbered alternates which number pretty high up into seven so with all the named ones into the double digits we are getting a decent way through this list man we're like halfway maybe not even halfway through yet though as we are up to memphis and we've got the tigers who have some of the most fun and unique helmets uh in college football i shouldn't say helmets i guess it's just one design but the color schemes and the shoulders i mean they look great the helmet or the the kind of uh tiger look that the Bengals wish they could do I don't know. The bang I like the Bengals as well. Their their helmet looks great. Uh, but you've got all the these colors for Memphis, uh, which leads to a lot of alternate options. You've got kind of uh, the old school retro helmets. Uh, uh, I mean, what do you say? There's just a lot that you can pick from. You can mix and match to your heart's content until you gosh we're just gonna zoom through all these because yeah they're up to 21 alternate combos how about the U? we know that they're gonna have some interesting or fun looks beautiful color combination very much fits miami they've got the miami knights one they've got the miami knights two curious to know what you guys think i i mean you gotta say the miami knights two is better right anything with any sort of gradient kind of looks nice and the orange face mats but then Miami Knights 3 comes in. I'm still going with 2 as being my favorite. You got the 2018. I don't know if they pronounce this Parley or Parlay. Uh, a great look with uh, the kind of different colored shoulders. Look fantastic. The 2019 versions. The all greens, which are beautiful, I think. I'm just a sucker for the color green, really. The orange. The uh, tribute uniforms for Howard Schnellenberger. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I should be. And then you get into the alternates. So Miami, I, I like a, a team with a lot of alternates, but like Miami, like Arizona State, I really like these teams. They have a lot of named uh, unique uniforms where it's not just a recoloration, but they get more unique with it. So Miami gets a thumbs up from me, as does, as always, the revamped team. Oh, it's time for Minnesota. Uh, you know, if you know, you know. Uh, Goldie face helmets are an absolute beauty, so I can't ever hate anything Goldie related. But Minnesota, again, beautiful uniforms. I gotta say, though, their anthracite, uh, it's, it's just not done well. It doesn't look good with the lighter colored helmet and numbers and all that. The blackout, though, uh, they did a phenomenal job with that. So I don't know how you can, you know, mess up the anthracite and do well on the blackout. Anyways, through the alternates... Uh, you know, you could probably make your own anthracite that looks a little bit better if you mix it with something else, but, uh, I, for me, I'm sticking away from it. I'm getting crazy with the, you know, the maroon goldie face helmet and all of that jazz. They're going to have a lot of alternate options because I know that Minnesota has tons of helmet opportunities and anything into the twenties makes me incredibly happy. And this is uh, almost into the thirties, 28 alternates for the golden gophers. How about Navy? We saw Air Force had a ton of new ones. Can the midshipmen keep up with it? They already have very solid uniforms. We know they have some fun ones. The Bill the Goat is always an interesting look, as is the 175th anniversary. I believe this was already here, as is the next one. No. Yeah, yeah. The 1960s throwback was already in the game. So was the Blue Angels, although this one might have been updated. I feel like this looks better than I remember it looking. But again, a fantastic tribute helmet. You've got the Marine Corps one, which I think is a great look. I, I love when like a real life handy uniform translates into a football uniform so well. And I think that this one does. You've got the FA-18 fighter jet uniforms, the Army-Navy games, and then into your alternates. Navy, again, a team that has a lot of very unique, uh, you know, named alternates. So they get, we'll say two thumbs up. How about NC State? Uh, in my eyes, NC State, a team that uh, is kind of just like some of the other ones that we've seen, like a Memphis or a Louisville, where they mostly just change the colors, but at least they do a good job of that. The Blood Moon look, the Ice Wolf, at least if they're just going to be changing colors for the most part, they're having fantastic names to go along with it. Lighter Red, the Black Owl, the Throwback, Iron Wolf number one. Iron Wolf 2, Pack in Black. These are fantastic names. And then you get into the fun alternates. Uh, so uh, compared to some of the others that are very similar in the way that they updated the uniforms, 
uh, NC State is kind of near the top of that list. How about the Cornhuskers? Nobody really thinks Nebraska has crazy uniforms, right? They've got like the blackout ones, whatever they call it. Maybe some sort of like Go Big Red. Uh, do they have any of that? The black shirts, there it is. It's a very fun, kind of unique look for a very traditional school. Where, you know, at least I think of them as a very traditional school. Uh, and they've got the aways. I actually like the away a little bit more, like the all white. Uh, I guess calling it black shirts and having it all white. I don't know what that does, but uh, the memorial tributes are very fun. Great look there with the helmet kind of looking like a leather helmet. The 9-11 tributes are, you know, always going to be pretty solid. Uh, the old throwbacks from the 90s. Do we have anything else? No, but we have some older, you know, mid 2010s alternates and then back to the home. So they don't have a lot of just like normal alternates that are just like alternate number one, alternate number two, but they do have a lot of unique ones. So I guess uh, they realistically have more combinations than they're possible just because you can mix and match and create your own. How about the Tar Heels? I know in the past uh, we saw the Tar Heel helmet and I didn't really understand what it was about. I've been uh, informed. I've been educated. And man, I can just never get over how beautiful the Argyle looks on the side of the pants. Uh, classic Tar Heel blue. The throwback uniforms are great. The Navy are fantastic with that Tar Heel logo on the side. Uh, the black's good. And uh, you can use all of those. I think all those colors pair so well that you can use them to create all sorts of fun alternate looks for the team that, uh, they, you know, they stick with the brand kind of. They don't get too crazy. Uh, but they do push the envelope a little bit. How about your Northwestern Wildcats? This should be interesting. I think that they have some fun looks. I like a purple team. I think it's very unique, but I'm just not sure if they've done a lot of crazy. They call theirs graphite, maybe a little bit lighter of a gray than the typical anthracite that we would usually see. And I think this is my favorite. Obviously, it's because it's the craziest that they have, but the gothic... The black, the gold, the purple all goes together so well uh, with the font. It's fantastic. And then you get into the throwbacks, 2019, 2017, 2015, and then into the numbered alternates. So the, the crazier you get with some of that, the more numbers you can get. And uh, 15 is a solid amount for Northwestern. How about Oklahoma State? I feel like they have some fun ones again. Kind of like Oregon State, the, the color combination is a classic. The black and orange looks good. Uh, they've got fun throwbacks. I like a lot of their throwback helmets. The old OSU logo is fun. You've got the cowboy battalion that uh, does look quite militarized. The 2021, 2017, 2016, 2015, 2014 throwbacks are all good. Uh, and then you get into your alternates where you have all sorts of crazy stuff. Again, their helmets game is pretty strong. All the different logos they put on the sides of their helmets uh, are pretty good. They, they don't really miss often on that. Uh, and then again, keeping with similar on the colors allows you to mix and match almost every single one of the options as we just skyrocket into the 20s. I'm curious if there's a team that has over 30 alternates or if they'll ever be one because uh, that would be awesome. I will say, I don't think it's Pitt. It could be Oregon, but uh, they're not a part of this update, unfortunately for me. Uh, Pitt, beautiful. I love this look. The uh, the lighter colors compared to what they used to run is fantastic. You've got just like in your face, blue and yellow on the alternates. Uh, you got the Steel City. Look at that logo. Very aggressive the the um what are those called the gloves gosh i uh, when you can't get the word gloves out you know you're struggling on a day uh you got the throwbacks which uh which aren't even really throwbacks anymore but they are and then you've got these which uh, you almost have to consider throwbacks just uh you know 2018 homes 2018 aways not nearly as good as what they're running these days uh but at least you have the option if you want to relive uh, the end of the 2010s. So uh, a lot of options there, but I'm glad that Pitt has gone in the direction that they have. Let's move on over to California now. San Jose State, the Spartans, one of those teams I think that is typically just kind of gone with different color schemes and, you know, oh, we've got a blue helmet, we've got a white helmet. 
but they at least have some fun logos. They've got their own Gruff Sparty. Uh, so the helmet looking fantastic there with kind of the old school logo on the shoulders and then into the alternates. There's not going to be a lot, but again, just kind of updating, more modernizing the look for San Jose is fantastic. And uh, I mean, you just can't go wrong with blue, yellow, and white. We saw it with Pitt. We see it here. It looks great. Uh, you get a decent amount of combos and you can just, you know, bring up maybe your Mountain West team from the bottom while looking good doing it. Now, this is a team that's fun. SMU and the Mustangs do have some great looks. Uh, home and away, very standard. But then the Dallas, I love that Dallas logo with the Mustang. And oh, just the kind of retro look is so beautiful. The script Dallas on the low or on the jersey. They do the anthracite okay. As far as like, like if we're going one to 10 on anthracite with one being, uh, I think it was what, Minnesota and 10 being... I can't remember who did the anthracite really well. Boise State's was okay. This is kind of middle of the road at about a five or a six in my eyes. Uh, the black looks solid. The Texas Pride, you gotta love it. Texas Forever Street. Uh, and then you've got the breast cancer ones, which I, you know, I don't dislike breast cancer uniforms, but I like it when they go all in and uh, get rid of their team colors for a pink instead. After that, we do have alternate looks. Uh, so you, you do have quite a bit to work with. And I guess because of the way that they've done their, their breast cancer look, you could just kind of mix that in with anything, but, uh, solid uniforms for SMU. Nonetheless, I would be surprised if there was anything crazy for the Stanford Cardinal, probably like a black, maybe an anthracite, but I don't think we're going to get a whole lot more than that. As far as traditional goes in the pac 12, it's kind of Stanford, USC, maybe UCLA. They do have their black and then just kind of the simple alternates. Uh, I mean, just even the chrome helmet. Even, I mean, you can go back to this 2017 black helmet. It looks exactly the same. Stanford not one to change it up much. The throwback compared to the home. I mean, you could play spot, spot the difference and uh, I don't know. It might take me 10 minutes to complete. Oh, man. I mean, I'm also just kind of an idiot, though. <laughs> How about Syracuse? The orange have very UTEP looking uniforms. Everybody loves a good UTEP dynasty. Uh, if you squint really hard, you might think that that's what you're doing if you're playing a Syracuse here. Uh, color scheme obviously works. Nothing too crazy for these guys. The throwback's very similar. Uh, Syracuse, uh, not a bad choice for uh, uh, a dynasty. I do like this gray. It's, it's an okay one compared to some of the ones that we've seen. <laughs> That's kind of the most critical I feel like I get with uniforms is uh, how good is your gray or your anthracite look. But Syracuse, middle of the road. Speaking of gray uniforms, I think TCU has at least one of them. They're home. Okay. I feel like TCU could do more. I do love uh, some of the spot things. Like I like the, the color. The blood frog is kind of crazy. You know, like frogs like shooting blood out of their eyes or something. Uh, it's unique, we'll say that, although it's, as far as a gray uniform goes, I'm not quite in love. The 2013 Blood Frog uh, is better. I, I hate to say it, but it, it, I like it more. It's more unique. It's a little bit more abstract. The purple frog sc skin is fun. Like this guy spinning in front of you, he hit like a thousand headshots on Call of Duty and unlocked this for the team. The gray frog skin, he hit 2,000 to get that one. Uh, he... he I don't know. Maybe we're going to get gold frog skin soon. Uh, <laughs> a lot of frog skin. That's what I'm seeing. That was also my nickname in high school. I don't I don't know what any of this means. Into the alternates we go. Uh, fun looks. A lot that you can kind of mess around with for TCU. Uh, kind of two separate looks. You got the normal ones and the frog skin, but you have a lot of both. So I like that. Again, I'm pretty sure Tennessee is a team with uh, a gray uniform the home of the white are there the smoky gray it works it's as simple as that it works kind of fits uh you know the dog and all that rocky top i'm feeling it blacks actually this is a rare case where i think that the black is a worse uniform than their gray their anthracite look i like the all orange very creamsicle look for the vols as uh we do have a bunch of 2016 stuff the 2021 music city bowl uh, and then back to the home. We are nearing the home stretch now. We're not in it, but we're nearing it with Texas A&M. This is going to be one of my longest update videos because we are only at the team updates. We haven't gotten to anything else. 
as we do go through and look at Texas A&M. You do have the throwback here with the slightly different color, maybe, uh, and the bigger logo on the side of the helmet. You got the 2019 ones. Feeling very Johnny Mansell there. Uh, not a lot, but again, traditional team, traditional uniforms, and that's kind of what you get stuck with. Not every single one of these updates is adding new uniforms. Some of them are just updating them to what we saw in the previous year. Uh, Texas Tech, you love it. The black as like your main uniform is, is very unique. I feel like you don't see that a lot. Uh, the Red Raiders looking good. They do have their throwbacks. Uh, you got the throwback in black. Their normal home looks better than that. The throwback alternate's fun. I like a good throwback. I like something simple. The all red is good. The all white is good. The state pride is fantastic. Like that helmet. I'm going to go ahead and say it. That might be close to rivaling the, the Maryland state pride helmet. Uh, and then just like, you know, the fact that it's uh, asymmetrical is fantastic. And uh, with the gloves, also state flag. You love to see it. We then move into the alternates, uh, the numbered alternates. That is a lot of options there. The Red Raiders, uh, they're up there. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick a favorite from this uh, update. I wouldn't say that Texas Tech is quite there, but uh, ooh, how'd they do on the gray? Uh, they passed the test. It's, it's not as bad as it could be. How about Toledo? I think the team from Ohio does have a lot of options. Again, this is one that, as far as I remember, in previous updates was kind of just uh, recolorations of the uniforms they already had, like a lot of uh, different helmets and all the same, though. It's a good look, but it's kind of plain, so I'm curious if there's anything else in here that is new or either that or I just didn't remember it being there, but, I mean, we're already in the numbered alternates and we're just kind of getting mix and match at that point. So I do like Toledo's uniforms, but... There's nothing fun that sets them apart. How about Tulane? The green wave? I do love this. I think that they have some fun helmet looks. I like the coloration. It kind of fits uh, the 2017 throwback, the 2019 throwback. I like that helmet if it had uh, the new logo on it. I like the green face mask. Uh, I like the throwback logo on the 21. And then the alternate, I like the Surf and Bird logo. I think that's fun on the helmet. I think that that's more fun than the other than their normal. And I love these helmets with the uh, the Green Wave. I don't know what you call the mascot, but he is full on on that helmet. He is the helmet. Uh, that's uh, a much better helmet than their standard, in my opinion. Uh, and then you've got a lot to work with with just all the colorations. So. Uh, Tulane, as far as the teams that we've seen, is one of the most fun so far for me. Uh, but again, not at the top. They also just have a lot of uh, numbered alternates, as we're used to seeing. So that's that's always good. The more options, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm a simple man. You give me options, I'm going to like it. We have made it into the letter U with UNLV. So now we, I don't know, maybe can say we're on the home stretch. The Rebels from las vegas i think this is a team i'm pretty sure they're gonna have like a gray that's a pretty solid gray it's a throwback one but it works and again a, kind of a team that for the most part uh is just kind of recolorations i do like the old uh rebel logo on the shoulder there uh but then you get into the alternates i wish that they would stick with that more i think that their logo i get what they're trying to do with it these days kind of old west looking almost uh, with like the like nail holes through it, I think you might consider that. I just feel like UNLV could do a lot more, especially given their location, but it's not bad. It's just not the best. How about Virginia? Well, at least going to compare them with their rival because Virginia Tech is up next. And the Cavaliers are, again, one of those teams that is traditionally pretty traditional. I do like the throwback look. The helmet's fun. I like a kind of a wonky or retro looking uh, helmet logo. So that, that fits the bill for me. The asymmetrical helmet is all right. Uh, I think that you could do a little bit better than the, the really plain numbers on the side of it, but I get why that you go for it. Um, again, nothing too special as we just go through our numbered alternates. Uh, at least they can get into the double digits. And actually, we kind of get a little bit fun there. The chrome helmets. I don't, I, I'm a big fan of that. I don't know if it's just the lighting 
Uh, but the gradient from the white to the orange, if that's real, then that's great. And I love that gradient with the blue to the orange. Uh, the carbon fiber is kind of a miss in my eyes, but uh, those those gradient ones, that's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm also, I, I don't, I, I'm, I said I'm a sucker for a couple of other things. I'm a big sucker for a gradient and a logo. I don't know, I feel like I'm divulging all these personal secrets to you guys as we get to the Hokies of Virginia Tech. Do they beat out their rivals is the question. So far, kind of bland. The 225th anniversary is pretty solid. Uh, changing things up with the colors, giving you a lot of options. The black hokey stone's pretty good. That's uh, actually, I don't, I don't know if that's great. Uh, kind of looks like a vinyl like flooring piece or like a vinyl backsplash for a kitchen. It could be better. Pinstripe bowl's okay. Um, actually, that's that's pretty fun with like the Yankees logo on the, the side of the helmet. Uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> I, I don't mind it. It's definitely different. Um, and then you can get into the alternates. I will say, I think that Virginia Tech eclipses Virginia, at least in this update, especially when you've got fun hokey track helmets like that. You get the white hokey bird. The Fighting Gobblers, yeah. Uh, anybody with a helmet that's called the Fighting Gobblers gets a thumbs up. The retro logo is pretty solid. Uh, some of these alternates are a bit hit or miss for me, but uh, I like Virginia Tech. It feels like it's been a lifetime, but we have made it to the penultimate team with the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Not a team that you expect to see a whole lot from, so this might be pretty quick, but we could see a lot of alternates. Uh, at least you have that fun. The older uh, Demon Deacon logo on the side of the helmet. I like when teams do that. Uh, but then we're just back to the beginning already. So Wake Forest, more of uh, updating than an adding in this version 18. But uh, we can't fault them. They've got their look. They're sticking with it. And here it is, our final team with updated uniform assets, 43 of 43. Last but not least, the West Virginia Mountaineers. And again, this is uh, just a, a, a combination that I really like. I love West Virginia's look. I know there's a lot of teams that are very similar, if not like almost identical, but I just feel like West Virginia pulls off the all blue really well. They're all gold, could be better. Uh, and their gray is actually not bad. <laughs> I think it works. This is. Uh, again, on that scale of 1 to 10, with Minnesota being the worst, this West Virginia Gray, I think, gets up at least to 7, if not higher. Probably an 8 or higher for me. Uh, and then you've got the white. You've got the Veterans Day. This is kind of a bland Veterans Day where you just take your state logo and throw a flag into it. Uh, and then the alternates are also there. I just really like... I feel like they don't have a lot of bad alternate combinations, so they're able to get away with any sort of luck you could just randomly here we'll just do it you can just randomly choose something and it will likely look serviceable okay that was this is maybe not the best example because that white helmet doesn't look great but if we just change the helmet to blue fantastic so west virginia looking good i don't know if we missed any of their alternates i do like uh the weight retro logo uh on the side of the helmet and I do like the white face mask on the blue alternate helmet. Uh, but yeah, nothing pushing the bill too far. But at least their gray isn't bad. So as far as major updates go, uh, there are some stadium changes that they've brought in. Again, we've seen them do this from Madden 17. They were able to add in some stuff. I think they made a big change to like the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But they were able to do that for a few things, including the Fiesta Bowl. So the full list is the Chick-fil-A kickoff game has a new stadium or an updated stadium. The Fiesta Bowl is there. The LA Bowl is there. The Orange Bowl, the Peach Bowl, and the Sugar Bowl as well. So what we're going to do is go in and look at probably what is the uh, biggest change, the, the newest uh, kind of crazy one. And that is that they added in a SoFi Stadium for the LA Bowl. And while this isn't, uh, you know, a perfect recreation of SoFi Stadium, uh, just the fact that they're able to go back into Madden 17 and kind of pull in assets and give us the opportunity to pretend like it's the actual SoFi Stadium is nice. So here's kind of a look at it. We'll go ahead and get into this game and uh, we can pause it and take a look around. 
So loading in, we can see all the uh, the the logos. <laughs> you know, the Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl. You got to love it. And then just kind of looking around at the field, we can see, uh, you know, what could be considered SoFi Stadium. You know, you got all the, you know, fun geometry aspects of it. You don't have, you know, the ginormous video board that encircles the entire field or the uh, crazy roof or, you know, a lot of the stuff that SoFi Stadium has. But at least now you have an updated LA Bowl look. Uh, and you can, I don't know, you can make believe, you can pretend like we've got some swarm of, or some form of working SoFi Stadium. Now, for those of you that are eagle-eyed, you might have noticed when we were loading into the last stadium, there's one more big change or fun change that I noticed, and it is the coin toss coin. It now says college football revamp. It looks bright and shiny and on the back. I can only imagine that that is the credit list for the mod uh, crew all of the contributors and creators so thank you to them for making these uh updates possible for making this mod possible because every single time an update comes out sure there was nothing game changing about this one you know we didn't get uh you know college football 2027 but every single time they update it it makes the game just that much more modern feeling and it brings just that much more life back into it you know every time Maybe I start to think, oh, I'm getting a little bit bored of playing so much NCAA 14. They put out an update. It reinvigorates me. And who knows? Maybe we could uh, we could see some interesting stuff happening in our Grey Boys dynasty. Now, there are some other small updates uh, fixing a couple of uniform problems. Uh, they reverted USC Stadium back to what it was before version 17. They changed some other stuff around with logos and, and bowl game uh, logos and graphics. But what you've seen in this video is the majority of it all. So if you've gotten to this point, thank you for watching. Uh, and please give a big round of applause. Give a, give a thumbs up. Like everything that you can see from the College Football Revamp team. Go to their Discord. Go to their Twitter. Tell them what a phenomenal job they've done because they absolutely deserve it. And they have absolutely knocked the ball out of the park once again. Unfortunately, that is going to have to do it for this update video. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And down in the comments below, I want to know what your favorite updated team, what you think has the best uniforms from the 43 teams that we saw in this update. Again, I don't know if I can pick my favorite. <laughs> First off, because I can't remember that many. We went through so many uniform combinations today. But it's just hard to choose a favorite. I do have one in mind that I think I like quite a bit, but uh, maybe we'll go over that more in the future. After you've liked and commented down on the video, subscribe to the channel and then head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, as well as the college football revamp mod if you're trying to get this version 18 for yourself. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios. Special thanks to our tier three members, Durham Finch, Avery Binkley, and Warmaster777.